sorry, hi Virgos, uh, welcome to a new era, my name is Emma, uh, Virgo is Jungfrun in Swedish, I am Swedish and therefore I will jump a bit back and forth with the Swedish words to maybe explain some of the English words if I feel like they need some uh, explanation. And I started off a few weeks ago with focusing on relationships and I feel like it has shifted. It has shifted into more of what you guys need to hear most right now. So like the Virgo collective as an energy sort of draws through me, the like summons the answer and 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 i i have that come through me and of course that could be the same for the relationships as well it's just that it's it has turned in more of a where you at right now what speaks to you most right now that will come through and it might still be 98% relationships because it seems to be what's really important to us um i don't do the tarot reading it's not a typical tarot uh like placement um and i also want to say i'm not heavy into the astrology even though i have this chart of now i'm doing virgo for me it's basically that i just divide people into different groups or you would have no idea where to look uh it's not the same for all for all so it, at least it narrow narrow it down a bit um and also i don't like the idea that something can sort of hinder or stress or block your life so for instance if like so this this um planet is now in this house or in opposition to another planet and and so forth and then therefore you can't apply for that job or you can't meet your soulmate or whatever that just does not resonate with me and and i don't mean any disrespect to any of it i'm sort of it's full moon today uh i slept terrible last night and i also have like a strong belief around these things which i try to loosen um and if it works for you full moon just brings you power then use it like use it but if it starts to work against you and and also whatever i tell you if it's working against you if it doesn't resonate with you leave it you have the power to your life and you sort of you sort of run the show okay i just want to give you your power back don't don't give your power away to any person to any situation to any financial situation to any planet or any moons with that said virgo here's some cards for you <laughs> sounds super double standards double moral you swedish folks okay Virgo, what's up with you guys? What do you need clarification around? Okay. Um, sorry, but some of the Virgos that I'm connecting with is having a hard time. Why do you guys have a hard time? What's up with this? It's like you feel a bit under the weather. It's like you've been sick, maybe. Uh, get a bit of a runny nose. Um, and it's like you're sick of a situation. Like it's like you're sick of... You might have been sick, sick in, in your body. Like physically sick, physically ill. Um, but it's also like you've been sick, which tells you where it comes from. You've been sick from a situation you're you're sick and tired of a situation if whether it's work or relationship or we'll get some clarification around this i'm sorry virgos or at least the virgos that i'm connecting with Okay, so um, I'm gonna sound a bit harsh. The Virgos that I'm connecting with right now, it, I feel like you're a bit stuck in a rut. Like you're you're doing something on repeat, and because you're doing it on repeat, nothing much can change, and and therefore you don't see that much change, and you feel a bit stuck, and you're not stuck. Like it could not be more 
interesting, overflowing, flowering things going on around you. I even see here a potential for a relationship coming in and you sort of you sort of don't see that because you're you're a bit focused elsewhere. Um, mm, there there's okay. Just want more for the Virgo clarification. Yeah. Um, it's a it's an emotional journey right now. Like there's a there's a crack in the emotion, whatever that means. A, a crack in the emotion. Like it's it's not consistent emotional like you're not consistently super sad or consistently super happy it's like a crack and you, you sort of go a bit back and forth like a like a yo yo in swedish this is jojo <laughs> i don't know <laughs> you know the um anyway um it's like a you're living more in the illusion right now which can be a good thing like if if you're going to live in the illusion of of things or the fantasy of things or like in the dream of things then 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 see the vi like hold the vision of what you want if you're not going to face reality right now which is a good thing if you don't like reality then 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 start to visualize what you want to see not not what you don't want to see it's like you're there it's like an auto repeat of saying things to yourself that is not like conducive to your future so um sorry virgos i want i want to give you something uplifting so let's give you some uplifting stuff how can you get out of this how can virgo come out of this so what what can virgo hear that will bring light to this situation I just got the Virgo card. Um, okay, so there's something. Okay. Uh -uh. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm just doing the own my own reading in my own head with the spirits. Uh, maybe you want in on it. There's something about going solo, like. When I say that there's a potential relationship in the wings for you, um, there's actually a potential for you to, I don't know why is, when is it get rid of, because you don't want to get rid of your partner, but you want to, you might want to end a, a relationship. You might feel like you're in, in a relationship where you don't, you've outgrown it like a sweater. You, you've, you're not five years old anymore. So the sweater that you wore when you were five years old is not going to fit when you're 20. So it's like, then, but you're still wearing the same sweater and it's too tight for you. It's like you can't, oh, that's the rut. Okay. Um, so doing the same thing over and over where you feel like you're stuck, you're stuck in this situation. And it might not be that you sort of have to get out of the relationship. You just have to get out of the role that you're playing in this relationship. You have to you have to shift and change it up a bit. Um, and I know it can be tough. If you've been in this relationship for a long time, it can be tough to just all of a sudden, um, here's the new me, and I'm and your partner will be like, what are you doing? Like I'm changing things. I'm trying new things. Um, but that's what's going to ultimately work for you because the, excuse me, the relationship that you're in now and the way that you guys see each other is not working. It's not, you don't feel excited when this person walks in the door. They don't feel excited when you walk in the door. 
even though you've been having some time apart, it's not that all that exciting. Um, it's like, and you're stuck in the same rut, you're doing the same things over and over. If you start to like depend a bit more on yourself and at, at, at first not focus so much on whether you should stay together or end this relationship, it feels like when you rediscover yourself and your own passion and you start to like blossom and find your true Virgo-ness again, and there's, there's, there's such a word, um, and you sort of go in inside and you go deep within yourself a bit and not look so much externally f- for validation or confirmation or I need love from you person who won't give me love right now like if you work on that connection with your true relationship first with spirit uh, or your inner self um, if you put that first and then focus on what's going on on the outer in the outer world but not take score because if you take score too soon you'll think no it's not working um, you sort of let let the things happen around you while you focus on you and I just feel like you're bored. You're bored out of your mind. And you're not doing like your sole purpose right now. You're not engaging in... You could, and there's transformation happening at a lightning speed. And you could be up to par with it. Like you could be playing you could be at the same level as all these amazing things are happening but you're sort of stuck in a rut and you're sort of looking at your relationship in the same way that you always have and it's a bit stagnant and therefore and therefore nothing else really can shift either so if you just look within maybe meditate more maybe go for walks maybe um just take care of your life. Take care of yourself. Like, feel blessed that you have yet another day and start to treat it as what can I give to the world? What can I give to this relationship? But first and foremost, what, what you have to start to do is what can you give to yourself? What makes your heart sing? What makes your soul tick? Like, look for that and just look at this i love this virgo card and don't confuse the woman it can also be a man um yes focus on you virgo and just start to live again and see what happens with your relationship and you feel it you feel if you need to let it go or if it was just a shift within you that needed change so that your relationship could change. And I feel as a shift, yeah. Um, I also feel a shift in what can I get rather than what can I give. Let's start with you. This is sort of a I go in peace. So yeah, it doesn't have to be, I think the person that you're living with um, it's no, it's no arguments. If there are arguments uh, for some of you Virgos, you're that's a few of you, because I feel like this is more the silent treatment. Like you're just, you know, it doesn't feel fun. You don't, you feel it's not passionate. It's not like it doesn't get your juices going or whatever. And and it sort of upsets you a bit that you can't talk about it because it's been quiet for so long. It's just, a, again, it's such a rut. It's just the same over and over again. You don't talk about what's wrong. You both feel it, but you don't talk about it. But it's like, I go in peace. Yes. So what's harder almost to leave a relationship or shift something within the relationship is when everything is fine. It's okay. It's not super bad, but it's definitely not super good. So when it's not super bad, it's tough to leave, especially if there's kids involved, if there's company that you have together, if you bought a house together, whatever you need to sh- like split, if you feel like you want to separate from this person. Um, and so I have, I have to say, uh, the boredom, I feel the boredom uh, is also 
like you're just you're just too tired to even like you don't want to argue and there you shouldn't argue but you should discuss you should talk you need to talk it out and stop sweeping it under under the rug and just but go in peace i just get the the peace dove like a dove of peace and like the mother earth is with you like the whole it's just nurturing it begins with the nurturing from you and you sort of have to be I hate to say it but you have to be the bigger person here you have to start the conversation and just come in peace say it through if you if you can think that you have like a love filter like i try as much as i can to say what would love say in this situation how would love see this situation and if you if you start to sort of filter yourself through love so you have to take a minute or take a second before you just blur things out that would help the situation a lot and just trust the course is a leap of faith trust that I know it's scary because if that discussion will bring this um, relationship to an end I know that might feel scary to you but but you're not living right now it's not fun you got this you can do this talk to your partner and know that you deserve a happy passionate fulfilled life but it starts with you 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 sort of have to make a decision okay virgos um i hope you feel better soon and that that was a bit helpful on your way take a look at this last dub card And as usual, I'm past time. I'm trying to do 15 minutes. Um, I wanted to tell you guys that from hopefully next week, I'll uh, do started. St will start to do extended versions of these messages where I go in deeper and like really look at details and maybe what's going on uh, with you guys and maybe some other people in your life. Um, if that sounds interesting to you, then come have a listen. Um, if you like what you heard today, if you like this uh, video, then please subscribe. Tell your friends about it. They're more than welcome to come here. And have a lovely week, Virgo. Just stand tall. Be quiet. Go within. Uh, pamper yourself with awesome things. And then start a discussion. You can do it. You can do it. There's something else, something awesome waiting for you. So get going. I see you soon, guys. Bye.